cool. Yeah, I say pyramid. Yeah, I'd rather be closer in. Oh yeah. Was that our place? Though? Yeah, that'd be great. Right here, perfect. Hard. Oh god. Negative cables. Interesting. Hey guys, right here, welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. So today we are looking at a new product from EG4. This is the new 16 kilowatt hour indoor wall mount battery. So they currently have another battery that's 14.1 kilowatt hours. They said they're gonna keep producing that one, but we're gonna look at the new features on this battery, see how it compares to the old battery, Hopefully by the end of this video, you might know what type of battery you will want to purchase for your build. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> so there's really expensive batteries and really cheap DIY batteries. If you want to have a listing along with a EG4 inverter, the EG4 battery could be a really good option for you. I have see, heard some messages online of people who buy EG4 inverters and get an off-brand battery that's cheaper, and then the inspector comes along and he's super strict. I hear about this in Canada quite a bit, and then they have to buy, end up buying one of these batteries and they just have a, a, another battery that's just a paperweight that's not connected. So I will put a link in the description if you wanna look at the current prices for these batteries. But as of late 2025, this battery right here is $3,700. And the uh, previous version, 14.1 kilowatt hours, this one is $3,319. So this one is less, this one is more. This one has a little bit less battery capacity. This one has more battery capacity. But the price per kilowatt hour is very similar between these two batteries. Currently $231 per kWh and $232 per kWh. And the dimensions on the outside, they are pretty much identical as far as height goes. They both have adjustable legs and the uh, conduit box that you can buy with these batteries will fit with both. So I could easily uh, pull this out and put this in its place. Now stay tuned for the end of this video because I did have some questions for you guys. I would like some feedback thinking about mounting um, options for in integrating this battery into um, my current system. I'd like some of your thoughts on that. So yeah, this is another brand battery that people sometimes buy. I've heard people in Canada buy this battery for their EG4 inverter, but then the inspector comes along and makes them get a different battery and then they just have to have this as a, a really, really heavy paperweight. Um, or they um, have to work through, try and return it. All right, let's look at some of the differences here. So just on the top here, this uh, first version has four of the quick uh, Dexon style connectors, four here as well. This has one extra traditional connection here if you wanna go that route. And these connections could be really good if you have a charge verter, and like I have right here. The uh, old charging cables on the charge verter can connect directly to uh, these ports here. But yeah, I guess now EG4 does offer um, the cables that connect from this port to uh, these ports. Roughly the same communication ports right here. Now you notice there is no, there are no dip switches that you have to configure here. This is auto detecting. So you pretty much, you can just connect this as your master battery and then all the other batteries can just connect into this. You don't have to do in, use any of the toggle switches and these batteries can communicate um, with this battery. They all don't have to be these new batteries. And they also say that this new battery can auto detect what type of inverter and communication you need for your inverter. So no special switches or settings in the battery to talk to the brand inverter. And the new version also has these dry contact ports. So you can, you know, connect a uh, generator up to these ports if you want to, you know, have the generator auto start um, to, uh, to charge. 
and it looks like this is for a rapid shutdown as well. So just realize I'm showing you guys all these wires in my wire trough here. <laughs> if you want to look at this system and see how I built this, uh, feel free to check out some of my other videos. I've got, um, this is my current system I have, but I did start out with something really basic, just a couple server rack batteries with some panels just sitting in my backyard and I connected, connected them into my electrical panel to uh, supplement my power usage. And so, but this has been really fun hooking this <laughs> system into uh, run my house, save money my power bill and provide power when the power goes out, unlike the uh, many of the solar systems that people have when the power goes out, you know, uh, they're kind of left with no power just like everyone else. But why not just get batteries for your system or just, uh, you know, do it yourself and save a boatload of money. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't have a screen, but this one does have a screen. Now this one does have Bluetooth. So you in the future when they develop that app, you should be able to just log in your phone and see the details. I don't really use the screen that often, hardly ever use it. And I'm kind of worried I'm gonna be moving something around in the garage and I'm going to just crush the screen into a million pieces. It hasn't happened yet, luckily. But yeah, this one just looks more commercial grade. Um, I think that's kind of where EG4 is going, similar with the Flexboss, no screen here. When I think of electrical components, on like the side, side of a building or something like that. I just see uh, metal boxes. And uh, that, I think that's kind of where uh, EG4 is going. Now, if I open this, I do have a screen inside. And they said the BMS in this unit allows you to connect a screen. They might work on that in the future, but um, I think they're just gonna go with the Bluetooth option. So look at this, this is kind of an interesting idea. I don't know if I'd use this, but it looks like it's a Wi-Fi uh receiver so you can have like extra range basically i believe what's going to happen is you once they have that bluetooth app you can connect to this um, you will add your wi-fi credentials into uh this so this can connect to your local wi-fi and then you can have over the air um, updates uh kind of interesting not sure i'll use it but yeah they are really um, working on a lot of stuff over there it's kind of cool the new version also comes with these optional uh, eyelets, so you can uh, hoist the battery and put it in place. And uh, yeah, both batteries have heating elements. So even though they're indoor batteries, they can be heated. I have it in my garage here, so it gets really cold. And this has a passive balancer for the individual cells, and this is more of an active balancer for the individual cells. I haven't had any problems with these I've been running them for, I think maybe over a, over a year now and I had no issues at all. And then this is the other side of the unit here. Pretty much identical uh, on off button breaker and then spec sheet here. One addition that this has is a BMS service cover, which this one is missing. So let's dig inside here. Cool. Wow. All right, so check it out. Here it is. <laughs> Look at the size of that bus bar. Oh my gosh. That is thick. And uh, yeah, here's the breaker. So the uh, positive comes out here, goes through that breaker. So if you have too much current flowing through out of the battery, the BMS will shut everything off first. For some reason, the BMS fails you have the mechanical um, breaker here that should also add extra protection there's the on off switch right here and that back box looks like that is the uh, bms right there those small wires go to each cell and they will help balance more active balance the individual cells in here to make sure everything's perfectly balanced <sighs> see what else see here okay that is for the dip switches in the communication. Now here, it looks like this probably goes to the lights and the alarm. Now this right here, this connects to this uh, Wi-Fi. This, this is all part of the communication. Yeah, this connects those communication um, ports run into this board here. 
So that one's all the BMS. This is the communication protocols, it controls the lights. But yeah, one thing here, these, I believe these are the heating pads. It looks like it. Hopefully there'd be some heating pads on the bottom as well. <laughs> Okay, I take it back. These are the fire arresters. <laughs> so I uh, dove in here a little bit more. Just took this cover off. Yeah, those are definitely the fire arresters. And uh, yeah, look at this. So yeah, these, there's not just spot welded. Those things, those are like, that is a serious weld. So these are not coming off these jumpers and it looks like there's a little bridge in between each connection so it can expand and contract a little bit and then the balance leads are all connected labeled wrapped zip tied i think yeah it looks looks good so these white cables they but go back there those have got to go to the heaters i'm not sure how much i want to take this apart but um hmm, not a lot of space but um, there you go. Yeah, cool. All right, so why would you buy this one over this one or vice versa? You know, I think a lot of people are probably buying this one thinking they're getting a good deal because it's about $350 cheaper. But actually for the price per kilowatt hours of storage you're getting, this one is cheaper with the exact same footprint as this one. So I think the only reason you would want to buy this one is if really you can only afford 14.1 kilowatt hours and you don't need the 16 kilowatt hours. If, you're, if you want more battery storage, definitely buy one of these or two of these instead of just two of the smaller ones because they use up the same amount of space. And personally, um, I like the look of this one better. All right, guys, I think that might be all of the things I wanted to cover. That's pretty much it. Um, let me know if you have any questions, but I did have a question for you guys. So I am thinking of stacking this battery like this in my current system. And I'm not quite sure how to do that. I have seen some pictures of installs like that, but I'm not sure how they did it. So I might be able to just buy a square wire gutter or wire uh, trough and put over each set of two batteries. But yeah, if you guys have done that, please uh, post in the description or email me. Um, I'd love to do a video on how to do that type of install uh, properly. But that would help a lot, guys. So there is some discount codes and links I have in the description of this, of this video. And we will talk to you guys tomorrow on Black Friday for, for those Black Friday deals. Bye.